Peter Fisher. Uh, well, here's an old traditional American folk song about a great old traditional American hero named Railroad Bill. Now Railroad Bill was a hard-living man, used to take his women two at a time. And everybody said he was the baddest engineer ever drove for the Illinois line. His name was known from the folks back home to the tippy top of Telegraph Hill. And all the little kids, when they were sneaking cigarettes, they used to dream about Railroad Bill. Now one fine day Bill was walking along when he saw a kitten stuck in a tree. When he saw what was the matter, he ran to get a ladder to set that kitty cat free. And Bill says, no, ain't gonna do that. Ain't gonna climb in no tree. It's a stupid, stupid song and no folk singer make gonna make a damn fool out of me. Wait, that's, that's not, that's, that's not right. Wait a minute. Wait. One fine day, Bill was walking along, saw a kitten stuck in a tree. Saw it was the matter, he ran to get a ladder to set that kitty cat free. And Bill says, no way! I ain't gonna do it. I ain't gonna do what you said. There's a stupid, stupid song as far as I'm concerned. That cat could stay there till it's dead. And I said, wait a minute, Bill, you can't argue with me. For Christ's sake, I just made you up. I am the author, I tell you. I watch you up in that tree, and I want that cat on stock. Bill says, no. Hate cats. Ain't gonna climb for no cat. Why don't you happy save a beautiful girl who's been tied to the railroad track? And I said, well, maybe there'll be room in the eighth or ninth verse. But right now, I want you up in that tree. I'm the writer. God damn, I got the pen in my hand, and I want you to listen to me. Listen to you, says Bill. Ha, listen to you. Why should I listen to you? Why, you should listen to me instead. Cause I'm a railroad man, and if I was real, I'd separate your face from your head. And I said, why, you ungrateful brute? You pushed me entirely too far. I'll show you I can do as I please. Just then an earthquake came and shook the whole terrain and brought Railroad Bill to his knees. And, and, and then a tidal wave broke and everything got soaked and Railroad Bill got almost completely washed away. And then a great big green monster from the planet Neptune came down and bit Railroad Bill in the leg. I got the pen in my hand. Do what I want. I'm bright young talent on the rise. So get your ass up that tree or I swear you ain't getting out of my folk song alive. You don't scare me. You may be funny, but you don't scare me. Because if you don't leave me alone, I'm going to tell everybody where you stole this melody. But before he could speak, his tongue fell out. And he could not make a sound. But then he jumped up on top of me. And he grabbed me by the throat. And he pulled me down to the ground. And then he punched me in the stomach, punched me in the face real hard. I think he almost broke my nose. But then, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, a lightning bolt came in right between the eyes and killed him instantly. The cat came down from the tree, had a bowl of warm milk, and went to sleep for the night. Railroad bills survived by a wife and three small children. Dear God, I love to write. Andy Breckman, Andy Breckman wrote that.